What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time, I'm reviewing the game Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which was released on the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox by Capcom and Atomic Planet Entertainment. And it is essentially a compilation game with the first eight Mega Man games, along with um, Mega Man The Power Battle and Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters. And I believe that this is pretty much the first uh, Mega Man compilation uh, game that Capcom released. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, you can confirm it by mentioning it in, in, in the comment section. You know, now, um, pretty much the plot, graphics, design, gameplay, controls, and soundtrack pretty much goes unchanged in, in each uh, Mega Man game. You know what I'm saying? But I do have to say that. There were additions that were put in uh, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. First, first one that comes to mind is that the, um, there's the auto save feature in Mega Man Anniversary Collection, uh, along with the uh, password system. Now, since the Xbox has this internal save feature system, you know what I'm saying. You don't need any memory cards, you know what I'm saying, for it, you know what I'm saying. But with a GameCube and PS2, you're going to um, need a memory card to use to utilize the um, auto save feature in, in Mega Man and the rest of the collection, you know what I'm saying. Plus, um, Mega Man the Power Battle and Mega Man 2 the um, Power Fighter are unlockables, you know what I'm saying. All you have to do is be. Needle Man in Mega Man 3 to beat Mega Man the Power Battle, and you need to beat um, Junk Man for Mega Man 7 to unlock Mega Man 2 the Power Fighters, you know. Plus, there's five extras overall that's found in um, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. The first one is in all three, which are the pretty much the image gallery, you know what I'm saying. The, um, there's a um, remix version of all the um, soundtracks in Mega Man Anniversary Collection, but you, in order to listen to that, you need to buy just the, um, the Xbox version or the, or the PS2 version. Um, I think that the only reason the GameCube version don't have it because of the, because the GameCube games have the, uh, mini disc, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that's the main reason it don't have it, you know what I'm saying? Then there's um there's some um content that's exclusive to each um uh, version of the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Like for example, the PS2 version of um Mega Man Anniversary Collection has the pilot episode of um Mega Man NT Warrior and um uh I think the Xbox version has the one with the um with the uh, pilot version of the original Mega Man cartoon series, you know what I'm saying? And um, pretty much the last one had, are specifically for the GameCube version, the Xbox version, you know what I'm saying, which has an interview of um, one of the code designers for Mega Man and the guy who used to work for um, Capcom was... Um, I, I, I can't pronounce his name, but he, you know, I think his last name is Infume or something like that. I, I can't pronounce the guy's name, but um, uh, he he is one of the one of the uh, co one of the co designers for Mega Man. So if you want to see that interview with with him, just by the GameCube version or the Xbox version, you know. Now the graphics and design, um. Of the uh, of Mega Man Anniversary Collection are pretty good, you know what I'm saying. So I have no really no gripes with it, you know what I'm saying. Since the um since they didn't really change it all that much, you know what I'm saying. Now the the gameplay and the controls are pretty good, you know what I'm saying. I have no problem with it myself, you know what I'm saying. Since since all you have, all the only difference is you're not using an NES controller, you're using either a GameCube controller, an Xbox controller, or a PS2 controller. But like outside of that, 
into into uh, game plan controls don't change at all from an overall standpoint. You know what I'm saying? As far as the um the soundtrack, I like I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a fan of the uh soundtrack for Mega Man Two and Six, though. You know what I'm saying? Now the remixed versions of um the uh, uh, of the, of these games, they're they're okay. They're good, but I prefer the, the original versions of, of these soundtracks. You know what I'm saying? So if you like them, then if you like the remixed versions of the of, of the Mega Man games, you know what I'm saying? That's in Mega Man Anniversary Collection. That's completely fine. You know what I'm saying? I guess I just try to um, reach um, more uh, fans of the Mega Man franchise with the with the remix version of the soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? But from an overall standpoint, Mega Man Anniversary, Anniversary Collection is a, a good compilation game, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a fan of a Mega Man franchise, you know what I'm saying? So, I uh, pretty much recommend it to anybody who's definitely a Mega Man fan, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who's a retro fan who who looking for um, compilation games like this, you know what I'm saying, and all that. And anybody who's interested in um, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, as far as the score, I definitely give it a nine out of ten. Mainly because I pretty much have a personal preference for the original soundtrack over the uh, remixed versions of it. You know what I'm saying. Now, with that being said, if you like the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, you can pretty much be in the sound, in the uh, comment section. You know what I'm saying. Uh, if you prefer a specific game within the um in the in the uh, Anniversary Collection, as far as Mega Man concerned, you can also mention that. Uh, plus, um, if you if you try to buy the uh, standalone games, that, that's in. Um, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection is going to be like expensive, you know what I'm saying? Because some, because some of them, some of these uh, Mega Man titles do go for like, um, say like seventy five dollars, at least if you're if you, if they're in the box, you know what I'm saying? So um, it is technically cheaper to get this over the standalone games, you know what I'm saying? Unless. You, but of course, if you have like the original NES, you, it would it wouldn't hurt to have like Mega, the Mega Man games on the NES and stuff. You know what I'm saying? With, with that being said, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metro and Fan Twelve signing off.